Jeff here on the Hot Homestead. So today's video is on this distribution box. So this is a distribution box for my solar setup here off grid. Um, let me just go over what I've done just so you can see what I've done. I have a lot of circuits and what I've done this is a what this box here ended up being a uh, 125 amp square D box and Normally you would have a main breaker right in here. Well, I don't need the 125 amps. I just need the 60 amps. So I use a double, what they call a double pole here. And the reason why I use that double pole is because this bar here and this bar here do not connect. In normal circumstances, what you have is you have a line coming in going right there and another one coming in going right there. So that's a 120 setup and that's a 120 setup. Well, I don't have two lines coming in. I've only got the one. So I have it coming in here. And then I went ahead and did a jumper to this other side, which would energize this piece here. So I went with this guy here to use as my main breaker. So if I turn this guy off, it would shut off the whole thing. Now I've got eight breakers in here. Now this first one here is a 30 amp breaker. I don't know how well you can see it's dark out. I'm using a headlamp to help me out. So that's a 30 amp breaker right there. That's going to my RV. Then I have another 15 amp breaker there. That's just an auxiliary one I got going out to one of my sheds. Then I have, that's a 20 amp one. That one's going to go to my pump, my water pump, and my washing machine. Why washing machine? Because I'm too lazy to do my own laundry by hand, so I throw that machine. So anyhow. Then that one's just another 20 amp. That's going to go into the barn where it's going to handle my computer, my my 60 inch TV, and etc. So that's, I put the 20 amp in there, I probably just could have went 15, but and then that one there is going um, to the other half of that barn. And then that one there is uh, is also going to one of the, sh the sheds. So I'm act actually that one's going to go to uh, to right behind the trailer there. So I've got some extra kind of auxiliary uh, power out there if I ever need it. Now. The lights that I have here, these are gray, and the reason why that they're gray is because they are called direct bury, direct burial, and that way I don't have to spend the extra cost of putting a conduit because I'm running these lines a long ways. So I have them coming through here, and I've got a couple of them going over here, and like I said, these are going over to the RV, and then that one there is one of my auxiliary ones. And when I say auxiliary, that just means I don't have a specific place it's going to be at yet. I just have it going towards the shed. And then all these others come in here, and then I put all the black on into these breakers. And the black is considered the, the hotline. The whites go into this bus bar here, this bus bar over here, and so the white from the inverter comes in right there and so all the whites which is called the neutral are all connected and that black from the inverter goes into my main breaker now the copper wire which is called the ground that one goes right into my ground bus bar which is right here only one on this panel so a couple of them I had from this side here I had to run all the way around and into there and then I ran a couple down through here and into there. Now I also have this line right here is a white one, but that's actually a ground. And that ground is grounding my charge controller. So the box of the charge controller is grounded and it connects up right in here. The inverter also, the box needs to be grounded. So right here is the ground for the inverter box and it's coming out both of those grounds I use 10 gauge and it's coming in here and then connecting onto my ground I use those not a bare copper I use one of the 10 gauge from 
one of these lines here I had some extra and the reason why I did that was because I wanted them to be separate I wanted to identify them as okay that white one goes to my charge controller and that black one there goes to my inverter so I kinda use that to help identify which ground that was and then my ground comes out and then I have a ground outside in the ground and it's in the ground six feet so that's the inside of my panel I currently have this on right now and I have that one there on so I can't touch anything because I'll electrocute myself because you know there's uh there's at least 60 amps going in here so it's 120 volts so so that's the way it looks and there's the panel cover on now I still need to mark these guys here but those are just covers but there's everything now it's nice and safe I can't stick my fingers in there and get shocked so but yeah distribution panel for the off-grid homestead is complete don't forget to like subscribe share comments and check out the playlist of all my components and 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 everything I'm kind of summary I'm I'm putting everything in a playlist for you so that when you want to see the individual components and you want to see the whole thing when I want to do a summary of it then then we can do that so but anyhow Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead don't forget to like share comment subscribe I guess I'll see you on the next video.